But, gentlemen, I, I know nothing about this article being printed. I was out of town. Then let me read what is printed here in your paper. If Japan wants to control China, we must first crush the United States. Just as in the past, we have to fight in the Russo-Japanese War. But, gentlemen, you know the Chronicle has supported the government for 25 years. Uh, every government. It is late for explanations. This insult to Baron Tanaka and the Japanese people has caused great disturbance. You must know the penalty for disregard censorship. If my managing editor has violated any of the regulations, I'll fire him. Nick! Nick Condon! Somebody dig up Nick Condon! He's out. Something important. Said he wasn't to be disturbed. I don't care if he's interviewing the Emperor. Get him here right away. Get him on the phone, Kinchan. Okay, Mr. Sprague, but he's not going to like it. Get him anyway. Hachikawa. Arigatou What's on your mind? Uh, Nick, I... Uh... There's a matter to discuss, if you please. Shoot. It is an official matter of great importance. Oh, well, great. Come on in, we'll talk it over. Nick, will you please... Get... Oh, all right, all right. Uh, hand me that towel, will you? Lies, lies. It is all one big lie. Every word is untrue. Oh, now, just a minute. You must disclose source of your information. Police must know name of this traitor. All right, that's fair enough. You have a right to know. The name of the traitor is the American press. That article appeared in three New York newspapers. But I cannot believe it. All right, check with your consul in New York. Very unfortunate. When American newspaper prints slander, fine American people receive poor impression of Japanese friendship. Oh, I agree, I agree. If there's anything I hate, it's to give anyone a poor impression of Japanese friendship. Ah, thank you. Thank you. You can't do this to me, Nick. My blood pressure won't stand it. Supposing they shut me down. Now, look, when I came here two years ago and took over this rag, it was on one condition, that I run it. I know, Nick, but you can't. Oh, your circulation has doubled, advertising has gone up 500%. And you're making more money than you ever made in your life. Well, you're not doing so badly yourself. You're making five times the money you made in Shanghai. You tired of the deal? Oh, and I don't think I don't appreciate what you did for the Chronicle. But printing things like that is... That's what newspapers are for. That's what people buy. Not just Japanese propaganda handouts. But this was just a rumor. Yes, and thousands of American businessmen have a right to know about rumors like that. I know, I know. But, Nick, lots of Japs read English, too. Yeah. There was more to that than just a rumor. To bring those two birds here about it. I'll, uh... I'll have Ollie Miller look into it. Look into it? We've got to get out of it. You're going to write the retraction. I'll write a retraction when they prove the story is false. Nick, are you sure that piece was in the New York papers? The Japs would have caught it on the wires and censored it. New Yorkers read it yesterday. Yesterday? Then how could you have read it? <laughs> read it? I wrote it. Nick! Nick, for the love of Mike! Hi, Nick. 
I thought you'd be in jail by this time. Somebody's gonna have to slit your throat to save his face. Aren't you a little bit early with that stuff? No, 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 no. It just seems early. I hear the police have collected all the chronicles from the newsstands. Well, I hope you boys got your copies. You're welcome to cable any part of it you want. Mm, no, thanks. I want to stay in Tokyo. I just signed a new lease. <laughs> Anybody here seen Ollie? Ollie Miller? No, not yet. When Ollie Miller is not at this bar, he must be sick. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Sure. Oh, there you are, Nick. Meet Joe Cassell, just pulled in from Shanghai. Hello. Glad to know you. Now sit down. Yeah. Uh, have a drink? Scotch and soda. Uh, me too. Three scotch and sodas. Uh, Joe Cassell, Joe Cassell. Hmm. Covered the criminal courts for the old telly in New York, then went to Russia and then Peking, and worked for the American Press Association for a while. And I lost track. There's fame for you, Cass. No, that's a good memory. Want a job? Gone home. I was up at the foreign office this morning. That story of yours had a buzzing like harness. It was very amusing. Yeah, it breaks the monotony. Where'd you dig it up? A little here, a little there. Of course, there's not a grain of truth in it. You know that. I don't know anything, do you? Quite a bit. Our Chinese cousins are trying desperately to shape public opinion against Japan. What for? To take attention off their own internal disorders. And believe me, disorder is a clean name for it. Having just spent four years there, I know. I lived there six years myself. Four was enough for me. Uh, not that I haven't a tremendous admiration for the Chinese people. I see. Some of my best friends are Chinese, huh? <laughs> well, at last. <laughs> Hi, fellas. Hiya, Begala. Hey, Johnson, you get on that front page of Nick's this morning? Dynamite, huh? Hey, come on, how about a little drink? Set him up on me. Uh, you buying? As many as you can handle. I'll have oh, a double scotch. I'll have soda. a bourbon double. double. How about you, Begala? I'll have a little soda. You know what I want. But, Mr. Conlon, China throughout the centuries. Excuse, please, Mr. Miller is here. Oh, yes, sir. I'm quitting. What, again? Ever see these things before? Thank you. Keep it changed. Two tickets for home and the first boat I could get. Leaving tonight. And I got on my road. But where did you get the dough? No invention. Secret machines. Press buttons. Out comes fives, tens, hundreds. <laughs> well, in that case, how about the 30 you owe me? A pleasure, a pleasure. And here's the 10 that you wouldn't loan me, stinker. Buy around at rate. Excuse me, we'll continue this in our next. Ollie just came in. I'll see you later. So long, Nick. Yes, sir, I'm quitting this godforsaken land. What's it got? Cherry blossoms, but no cherries. <laughs> what kind of cherry trees are those? Uh, I'll probably settle down Connecticut and write a book. If I don't write a book, I'll... Hi, Nick, boy. If I've been looking for you all over, 200 and 20. A debt of long standing. Great honor to pay. He must have been trading in Shanghai silver. <laughs> <laughs> Johnson's just gonna buy a drink. Where'd you get the money? I came into it. Come on, make sense. What's up? I might well take offense at the skepticism in your tone. But I prefer to be generous and remember you as my friend and former employer. And a tribute to your bitter jealousy of my good fortune. Former employer? I'm leaving tonight. Me and Edith, now got her my roof. <laughs> Where did you get that money? Nick. Take a tip from me. Come on back to the States. This place is getting hotter than the inside of Fujiyama. Get out. There was blood on the streets this morning. <laughs> It'll be flowing like a river before the summer's over. So you are mixed up in something shady. Me? Ollie Miller? <laughs> oh, hey, don't forget. Hey, Dad, Captain 23. Come down in the night and I'll put it full of champagne tell you how much I love you. <laughs> Man, best friend, you dog. <laughs> So long, 
ミラは今晩中田マロで立ちますそうですか Nick! <laughs> Isn't it marvelous going home? I won't believe it till I'm seasick. Yeah, great stuff. Oh, uh, you go on with your packing, Edie. Yeah, I'll have to. Never been early in my life. What's it all about? Oh, Nick, you've got me. All of a sudden, everything's wonderful. Rags to riches. Well, how does Ollie explain it? Oh, like he does everything else. Uh, excuse me, he dismisses it. Can you say anything? Oh, vague, very vague. Something about a contract for a book he's going to write. Big literary deal, advanced royalties, scads of money. Mm. Fine, fine. Nick, I don't care where he got it. Maybe he stole the Emperor's treasures. All I know is we're going home. This place is slowly killing him. And me too. All right, all right. After all, Ollie's private business is still his own. But I didn't want to see either of you get into a jam because of anything irregular. Well, if there's anybody he'd tell what it's all about, it'd be you, Nick. Well, that's what has me worried. He hasn't. You be at the boat tonight? Yeah, sure. With a couple of magnums of champagne. <laughs> that should open his big mouth. He's opened it on less. Yeah. Oh, I'll see you there. Uh, Nick, in case I don't get a chance to tell you tonight, I... You're all we're going to miss of this place. I wish you were coming back with us. All right. See you at the boat, beautiful. Conan Song, are you go to America? Oh, oh, oh no, you're too anxious to get rid of me. You're just going to see a couple of friends of mine off on the boat. Your name, please. Name? Well, uh, that's Shishi Carter here. He's been tailing me all day. I am Thought Control Officer. Please to answer questions. All right, I'll give you an answer. I'm thinking this is a new low in stupidity even for the Imperial Police. Now, I want to see Mr. and Mrs. Miller, stateroom 23. Any objections? Oh, yes. Mr. and Mrs. Miller, not yet arrived. Well, I'll wait for them on deck. Sorry. Not permitted tonight. Excuse me, please. I'm strong. I'm strong. Come on, dear. Oi! Oi! Shut the door! Hey! This way. Refuse to believe police. Now you know. Truth has been told. You saw for yourself. Friends have not yet arrived. Taxi! Taxi! Hello. Tokyo Chronicle, please. Charlie Sprague. Yeah. Chronicle office. Charlie, Charlie, there's trouble, big trouble. 
Now, I can't tell you about it now. I'm coming right down. But to find out where the ambassador is... And get a call through to him right away. Right, Nick. Did Ollie Miller reach you? Ollie? He's been trying to get in touch with you. Said it was urgent. Oh, where is he? He said he'd try to get over to your house. Oh, fine, fine. Well, I'll go there then. Switch the call there. Yeah. What happened? I don't know. They were going to be so tough. I'd have asked for more money. Made a good guess in the paper this morning. You won't have to guess anymore, Nick. Tanaka plan. Glad Edith got away okay. Tell her I'm sorry I missed the boat. We'll get Very sorry to disturb. So am I. Beat it. A desperate criminal escaped police. Maybe he is hiding here. Sorry, we must search. We wish to protect you. There's nobody here, and I don't need anybody to protect me. Now get out. Have accident? Ah, here's criminal. Don't you mean victim? We must search house, please. Jumbo Sagase. Hi. Solo Haya. Sagase. You can walk. Who goes here? Nani Kamitaka? 
None of them all Well, of course, there was nothing to find. Now go on, get out of here. Yes. Would you come with us? Make report. All right, all right. That's exactly what I ought to do. Now, if you'll just give me a chance to phone my office while... Uh, not permitting telephone. Now, look here, Oshman, I'm getting awfully tired of this. Your chief Yamada is a very good friend of mine. I don't want to have to turn you in. Come, please. All right. Good morning, Kandon san. Did not expect to meet you here except as friends. I use your phone. Hello. Hello, Tokyo Chronicle, please. You've got some explaining to do, Yamada. Hello, hello, get me Charlie Sprague. Among other things, my government does not like its nationals to be thrown into the jug without any charge. Japanese government would not do that to American condon, son. Here is charge. Nicholas Condon, much esteemed editor Tokyo Chronicle, held private celebration in his own home, gaiety intense and far-reaching, causing complaints from neighbors. Complaints ignored, forcing police to make polite requests that gaiety subdue. Request ignored. Police enter home at 10.30 p.m. Find Nicholas Condon with two girls. Two condon -san? Mr. Condon, very much under influence sake. Demand police reeve. Police demand two girl reeve. Condon attempt to throw police out. Condon overcome by drinks. Friendly police put him to bed in city jail to protect him. Hello, hello. Hello. You've cut me off. Give me the Tokyo Chronicle again, please. Because holding you in much esteem, man of great prestige, no longer angry with protective police, you are free to go. Thanks. Hello, Charlie. Oh, Nick, please. Go home and get a little sleep. You had us up all last night. We even woke the ambassador. I don't know how we're going to alibi it to him. The Japanese papers are full of what you did. Never mind that, never mind that. Look, I'm glad you got the ambassador. Get him again and tell him I've got to see him as soon as possible. And then get in your car and pick me up here. Yeah, and uh, bring a camera. Sergeant Oshima, you know our good friend Kandon san of Tokyo Chronicle? We have met many times. Great honor. It's not mutual. You killed two Americans last night, Oshima. One in the Nagatamaru and the other at my house. A uh, serious charge, Kandon san. You have proof? Kandon san and Sake have big fight last night. Sake win. I suppose you weren't at the harbor and you weren't at my house. Last night, we take families to view cherry blossoms in moonlight. Most pleasurable evening. Be better you forget bad dreams and go home to good sleep. Sayonara, Kandon san. And if I may try big joke, I say, hope I am not to see you here too soon. Understand, uh, you have very strong judo. Perhaps you honor me with contest sometime. Certainly. Only I hope next time it'll be face to face.
You can put your camera away. There's the window that Ollie plowed through last night, and they've replaced it. Plant number one, even to the lipstick. Plant number two. Yeah, they don't miss a bit. They've even cleaned up the blood stains. Yeah, very thorough. What is it, Nick? There's someone at the door. Shall I see who it is? Yeah, see who it is. Mr. Condon, please. Come in. Thank you. This is Mr. Condon. Yes? Hayashi. Thank you. I'm from Foreign Office. Please permit me to escort you to the audience with His Excellency, Premier General Baron Tanaka. Hmm. Well, uh, I'm going to be busy for a couple of hours. Tell him I'll drop into his office sometime this afternoon. Please. Not to office. His Excellency awaits you at his home. Oh. Hmm. Anna. Well, uh, a few minutes, please. Yoshi. Uh, uh, won't you join us, Miss Hilliard? Not now, thank you, Prince Tatsuki, if you don't mind. I'm afraid Iris is unhappy these days. Unfortunately, it was necessary to involve her in this distasteful affair. Colonel Tojo advised it. Since when, Baron Tanaka, do you concede to Colonel Tojo's sordid wishes? I did not concede, Prince Tatsugi. I agreed. In the future, I would be less unhappy if I were not called upon to search the effects of a woman so horribly murdered. It will not happen again, my dear. I promise that. An interesting woman. Yes. Mixed parentage? Yes. Her mother was Chinese. Chinese. Oh. Baron. You know that I have communicated my fears to the Emperor regarding the road on which you are determined to lead the nation. Your Highness, the decisions already have been submitted to the Emperor. Your great influence, Baron, could still check to militarists. I am but an old man whose voice no longer carries its authority. But you are among the most highly esteemed in my cabinet, Your Highness. Esteemed. Esteemed as a liberal screen. I'm the scroll of the poet behind which samurai swords are being sharpened. Without armed strength, we will perish. That is my view. Those views will lead Japan to disaster. We see the problem differently. That is true. To uphold my beliefs, I would die with honor. You, Baron Tanaka, will die only to erase your dishonor. Hayashi and Mr. Condon. It is a pleasure to see you again, Mr. Condon. A Colonel Tojo of the Imperial Army? And you know Major Kajoka, Imperial Secret Police. And Mr. Nicholas Condon. Uh, please sit down. Thank you for coming to my home. It is more agreeable than meeting at the office. Here, we are not bothered with the uh, newspaper men. <laughs> uh, your uh, 
The front page story yesterday, Mr. Condon, was somewhat uh, embarrassing. Can't please everybody. <laughs> of course. Uh, we realize you had no way of knowing it was an inopportune moment for such a story. Bluntly, Mr. Condon, certain liberal subversive factions within our own country are seeking to create an incident to weaken the present government. They are responsible for the malicious rumor which you have regrettably printed. As I said, Mr. Condon, the story itself is unimportant. These rumors of a document which plans world conquest are ridiculous. But should this rumor be taken seriously by the wrong people, a blazing fire might be kindled which Japan would find costly to extinguish. Oh, I see. What you're saying is you'd like the Chronicle to put on a fire prevention week campaign, is that it? No, Mr. Condon. Within the past 24 hours, we've discovered a plot to smuggle this forged document out of Japan. A man by the name of Oliver Miller, one of their former employees, is involved. We could recover the document from him by force, if we chose. We would prefer that you persuade him to return it to us. It seems you haven't heard, Your Excellency, nor your secret police, Major, that Mr. and Mrs. Miller were murdered last night. <laughs> Yes, uh, we read in the papers this morning about your escapade last night, Mr. Condon. In your incoherent condition, you spoke of this unpleasant fantasy. As we were concerned with the fate of Mr. Miller even more than you, we immediately made inquiries. From the captain of the Nagata Maru, a most trustworthy gentleman. Isn't it clear to you now? Mm -hmm. Perfectly clear. In every detail, Mr. Condon. Murder is an ugly and dishonorable act. And to prove it, someone must be accused. Bodies must be produced. No, Mr. Condon. To approach this problem that way would only lead you to many difficulties. But if you send Mr. Miller a radiogram, I am sure he will return the document to us through you. Everyone would be enormously relieved and you would greatly profit. <laughs> we will all live to laugh at the strange hallucination which you experienced last night. <laughs> See, well, you want this uh, forgery returned? Yes. Mm. And uh, you're willing to pay plenty for it? Mm -hmm. All right. Here's my price. When the United States Embassy is informed that the murderers of Ali Miller and his wife, I mean the real murderers, Oshman Hishikata, not a couple of sacrificial monkeys, are brought to trial and convicted, then, and only then, the thing that you're looking for may turn up. All right, sit down. Drink? Whiskey. For the love of Mike, what's this about your quitting the paper? I'm trying to give you a break. You want my job, don't you? Oh, come on, don't toy with me. What's up? What happened with Tonica? Well, Charlie, I, I can't tell you much. You'll have to be satisfied with the crumbs. After I left Tonica, I went over to the embassy. We had a long talk. I don't ask any questions. This much I can tell you. They're sending me back to Washington. OK. Crumbs, but from cake. I suppose you saw bright eyes over there. And he's been tailing me all day. They know you're leaving. They might have other plans for you, Ollie Miller style. No, the embassy has expressed a very definite interest in my safe departure. Polite, but official. Oh, yeah, and uh, one more for me. After you finish that drink, you're going back to the office. I want a story in tomorrow's paper that says I'm sailing 10 days, President Wilson. Why the publicity? My hunch was right, Charlie. The police did not get that document. So it must have been the people who want to get it out of Japan. Now, if they know I'm sailing, they may try to get in touch with me. Oh, don't do it, Nick. Keep on ice until the boat sails. Look, there's a one-column cut of me in the files, three-quarter face, very flattering. Run that with the story, front page.
Hey, Katie, do me a favor, will you? Yes, please? Keep an eye on my friend over there. Yeah, yeah. Say, Condon, may we join you? It looks as if every table's taken. I arranged it that way. Uh, this is Nick Condon, Tokyo Chronicle. Miss Ira Sevier just arrived from Shanghai. I hope you'll enjoy Tokyo. I think I'm going to. Never mind. I do it better. Besides, I'm not crazy. What do you mean, uh, crazy? No man in his right mind would willingly share your company, Miss Hilliard. Uh, how's Shanghai these days? Oh, Shanghai's always gay. For everyone but the Chinese. Uh, may the waiter interrupt long enough to take your orders? Daiquiri. The uh, same. How was the trip over? A little on the rough side. I always say it's not the ocean, but the Japanese boats. You arrived last night? Yes. I went down to see a couple of friends of mine off on the Nagatamaru last night. You didn't by any chance come in on that boat, did you? Look here, Condon. You have a reputation for bad manners, but this is going too far. It's all right, Mr. Cassell. Perhaps Mr. Condon can explain. Telephone, Mr. Cassell. Excuse me. Well? I'm sorry. Sorry. I had kind of a rough night last night, and, uh... I'm not quite myself today. I read about it in this morning's paper. Oh, that story? Not true. I didn't think so. Too much fun to be true. May I have a cigarette? I'd like to make a confession. Well, we're alone. You were wrong about Cassell. He isn't crazy. I insisted on coming over here. Why? I wanted to meet you. <laughs> you certainly know your judo, don't you? You've had me off balance ever since you came in. Good. All right, now, what you're saying is that uh, you're making a play for me. Why? Perhaps I like your looks. Mm -mm. Not with this. There may be things about that I like. Yeah? What? I've always liked red hair. I grew it for you. And the ears? Yeah. Two of those. Isn't that good? More would be vulgar. Well, keep on, keep on. Pretty soon we'll level. All right, Mr. Condon. Let's, to use your phrase, level. I was told to meet you by a friend. Yes, but whose friend? Yours, in Shanghai very wonderful, almost saintly old man. Chang Po Ling. Yes. Oh, yes, yes, wonderful, wonderful. And he asked you to look me up? Yes. Well, he certainly hasn't forgotten me. No, he remembers you very well, as you were then. He hoped you hadn't changed. Now, just what does that mean? First, we'll become better acquainted. It was his desire. His desire became mine five minutes ago. Come on, let's figure a way to go about that. About what? How to get better acquainted in the shortest possible time. You see, I'm, I'm leaving in 10 days. Well, that's not bad. Come on, let's drink to them. To them? Yeah, 10 days. The 10 days that shook the world. You know Colonel Tojo, of course. And uh, Major Kershopka. There's tea? No, thank you. Have you anything to report? I have made some progress. What progress, please? 
Mr. Condon finds me attractive. The introduction I arranged worked smoothly? Excellently, thank you. Please waste no time in becoming most closely acquainted. This adventure, Colonel Tojo, has many ramifications which I find displeasing. Perhaps we can eliminate the sordid details and learn exactly what has occurred thus far. Does this man possess the document? I cannot say for certain. I'm sure he does, Your Excellency. It would appear so. It is Mr. Condon's ambition to leave Tokyo in good health within one week. He is relying upon his embassy to protect him. That means you must work swiftly. Colonel Tojo, I do not need you to remind me of my duty. As far as Mr. Condon is concerned, I have every hope for success. Hope alone will not suffice. Your permission. Charlie, Charlie, that fellow in the top hat just going out. Isn't he the one from the foreign office who's over at my house the other day, uh, Hayashi? Yeah, why? Oh, nothing. Just checking, thanks. Uh, say, Nick, uh, do you know a guy named Cassell? Uh, uh, Joe Cassell? Yeah. Hmm. Heard of him. Somewhat. Well, I just got a wire from the States about him. They say he's a good man. I thought I'd try him out in your job after you go. From what States? You mean you just got an order from the Japanese foreign office to put him on? Two minutes ago. That's an insult. Nobody dictates to me. No, not even your own conscience. You promised Charlie Sprague my job, didn't you? Well, I've reconsidered. They say Cassell's got a fine record in journalism. Yeah, great. He ran a paper in China that posed as a friend of the people. And on the side, he set up a patriotic organization that collected nickels and dimes from the poor Chinese in the States to print anti-Japanese propaganda. Oh, what of it? Oh, nothing much. But instead of printing the leaflets, he lost the money in the stock market. 60,000 bucks. His partner committed suicide, and Cassell decided on a change of climate. I don't suppose you can prove that. All right, if that isn't enough, I'll dig up something that'll make even your stomach crawl. But if you've got any sense, you'll stick to Charlie Sprague. Will you stop trying to run my paper? Yes, yes, right now. Okay, okay. I'll give it some more thought. Hey, Nick, where are you going? Uh, well, as the Japanese say, if the flower is to be beautiful, it must be cultivated. Chase has done for me, developed a ravenous appetite. I've developed a few myself. Must we really avoid him? No. Come on, let's eat. Machi gozaimasu ka? Thanks, Katie. Oh. We are about to dine at Sato. Oh, excellent restaurant. We thought you'd like it. Nothing too good for the Imperial Secret Police. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
you like it, huh? Japan is lovely, but I've seen of it in three days. Yeah, the scenery is all right, but some of the inhabitants I object to. The higher up you go, the lower grade people you meet. Then I'm lucky that I don't have to meet any highly placed Japanese in my work. Work? Of course. Namely? I'm studying the problems of Japanese women. Why? A friend in Shanghai. Now, don't tell me that was why he told you to get in touch with me. Nick, you know so much, and still you're so ignorant about women. Ignorant, but awfully willing. Do you know anything at all about Japanese women? Now, what kind of a question is that? Academic or personal? Well, if you won't be serious. Oh, I'll be serious. I'll be serious. They're not considered human beings. They're not even allowed to think. It's against the law. Mm. I imagine they bootleg a thought now and then. Yes, bootleg thinking. That's not good enough. And so you've elected to help them. Why not? I'm a woman. I've been aware of that for some time. The Chinese women are just beginning to learn what it could mean to be free. If the Japanese women felt the same way... You mean that might stop uh, Tanaka, Tojo, Yamamoto and all the rest? It might help. Uh, the Tanaka plan, what do you know about it? Why don't you tell me? I haven't published any articles on the subject. Why don't I just kill him off? <clears throat> I think I know a less violent solution. up for me, Katie. Very nice. Somebody been expecting us? Help yourself. You? Please. Oh, uh, how about one for Hijikata out there? Let him suffer. Tang Tam. Ling Hula. Even Tang Tam. This whole side, Jana. Tana big at him. Since I'm the Kuga Tanak, whole house, I can't come up. You got a pretty good notion there. Do you understand Chinese? I? Hi, come door. I'm going there. I'm afraid she's hopelessly romantic. Well, she's not exactly my type, but uh, on the other hand, with a few alterations, you'd be. What sort of alteration? Oh, uh, this is just kind of a game. Rule one learn never to interrupt a conversation when it begins to get interesting. Rule two, whenever you sit, always sit with your chin tilted up like this. Like this? Mm-hmm. Perfect. When did you leave China, Nick? Oh, there goes rule one. Well, I, uh, I left China two years ago. Left Brooklyn 15 years ago. Cleveland 10 years ago. Kansas City in the summer of 1921. Now, would you like me to go all through the towns very quickly, just sort of get them out of the way? I don't think that'll be necessary. Well, I just wanted to make sure I'd cover everything that you might interrupt with. I'm afraid I'll have to interrupt you, Nick. Yeah? Why? I was just thinking... I know. 
You were thinking of changing the subject again. Now, uh, let me tell you what I'm thinking. I think I know. And I like it very much. But I don't believe you really know what you think of me. Maybe I do. A desirable woman? Much more than that. Be sensible, Nick. What, what I'm trying to tell you is that I'm half Chinese and well, I'm I... half Irish and half Norwegian. It isn't the same thing. Uh-huh. What are you trying to do, run down the Irish? Thank you, Nick. Uh, stop it. Stop it. I hate gratitude. It's a very debasing emotion. Now, you just keep your mind on the game. That's rule one. Rule two? Hey. Have you played this game before? Maybe when you learn a little more about these people, you might revise your opinions about the Chinese. Maybe, but the farther west I've gone, the more I'm convinced that wisdom and civilization come from the east. That's what I say. China. Japan is east of China. You should do well here, Mr. Cassell. How about this? Excuse me, gentlemen. I'll see you later. Hmm? Dirty well, see, what is it? What's it all about? But, Colonel, this is an outrage. I won't tolerate it. You seem to forget my position and influence. Perhaps you do not have them any longer, Mr. Cassell. Have you seen His Excellency Baron Tanaka? If he'd see me, I wouldn't be here. Be reasonable, Colonel. All you wanted was that the loan to China be killed. It didn't happen the way we planned it, but what's the difference? We are just as much concerned in the manner in which these matters are accomplished now. His Imperial Majesty's government will have to make it very clear we were never acquainted with you. But where does that leave me? I've lost my friends in China, and now... Precisely. Surely you must realize, Mr. Cassell, that he who is not a good friend of China cannot be a good friend of Japan. Most regrettable. Good day. Okay. Okay. Don't get me wrong, Condon. I don't blame you. It was my mistake. I don't know what got into me. The Chinese are great people. I, I love them. If you'd only come to me before printing the story and stop me, knock some good sense into my head. It isn't brains you're short on, Cassell. I know, but it was like doubling up, letting the money ride on a good bet. I couldn't pass it up. Oh, go on. Get out of here. Wait a minute. You're a decent guy, Condon. And I've got an idea it'll work for both of us. You're in a worse spot than I am. They're not going to let you get out of the country alive. But they don't suspect me. You set the price. Half a million, anything you say. Let me take it to China and set myself up again with the right people. You collect the money in America. Take what to China? The Tanaka plan. You've got it done. Tanaka's already made you an offer, but you're holding out for more, I know. Oh, yeah? Well, what else do you know? Plenty. Didn't I frame the introduction for Tanaka between you and the Hilliard Dame? Don't I know she hasn't had any luck yet because you're playing cagey? What else? That's plenty. You smear me for selling out China while you're selling out your own country. Now that we know each other, start talking. Start talking. Hey, then Ishii. Okay, hi, Ishii. You were on the Nagatomaru that night. What if I was? You were for Tanaka. No. That's a lie. You thought you were going great, didn't you? 
Had me shooting off my mouth about the wonderful Chinese people. Tied me up with Chan Po Ling. You're going to build up a case of espionage against me and have me boxed. I'd give up the Tonica Memorial or else spend the next ten years of my life in a dirty Jap prison. Very cute, but you made one slip. You thought you'd build yourself up with me by spilling that story on Cassell. Well, it didn't work. He talked. Can I say something? Yes, plenty. To the United States Embassy. You're going to tell them how you killed Edith Miller. I didn't. Well, you know who did and who killed her husband. You go down into a sewer with the dirty rats like Tanaka and then come to me with your freedom for women, equal rights for all people, love of humanity. Well, now, who killed them? The name, Dorshman, who else? Who would you give for the name? The Tanaka Memorial? It's too late for that kind of deal now. What is your price, then, for the document? That hardly answers my question. All right. I'll give it to you in your own language. It may come as a surprise to you, but these things can't buy everything. There isn't money enough in all Japan to buy that document. Then what are you risking your life for? To protect people in China and America you don't even know? To save humanity? Come on, let's get over to the embassy. Are you sure? Are you sure you'd risk your life to protect the Tanaka plan? If you had it. Oh, don't worry. I have it. No, you haven't. I have. Is this some more of your lies? No, Nick. If you wait on the terrace, I'll bring it to you. Umgoi. Where'd you get this? Where did you put it? The portrait of the Emperor held no fears for me. When the police left... Where were you? In your garden. It was an awfully good fight you put up, Nick. But when Oshma hit you from behind... Hey, it's awfully hard. Awfully hard. So this is it, huh? This is it. Memorial to His Imperial Majesty by Premier Tanaka. Outlining the positive policy of Japan. Well, tell me, how, how, uh, how close did I come? in my article the other day. You missed, Nick, by millions of square miles. This is a plan for world conquest. Manchuria is only the beginning. All of China, then America. Oh, now, wait a minute. What do you think we'll be doing while all this is going on? Sleeping. Until the bombs start falling on you. They're counting on that, Nick. That's why it's so important to get this to the outside world. To China, to your country. Now, before the plan goes into full operation. Hmm. Well, the Japanese are going to claim it's a forgery. And uh, they'll scream fraud all over the place. Now, what we've got to do is to find some means to keep them from squirming out of it. That can be done, too. This document can be authenticated with the signature of someone who was present when the plan was drawn up. Are you sure of that? I'm sure of that. Hmm. Darling. Now, uh, how'd you get mixed up in this? It's my work. Well, I can think of easier ways of making a living. Not for me. Big payoff, huh? Yes. A free China. That's why I had to be so careful, Nick, about telling you. I had to be sure how you felt about it. And about you? Nick. Nick, the other evening I said I wished we'd met two years ago. I couldn't tell you why then. I suddenly became afraid that the thing I wanted most for you to say yes, you'd take the chance, would come too swiftly. It would end for us before it could begin. I suddenly wanted the moment of your decision pushed back months, years. Now, wait a minute, darling. I'm still alive. Yes, Nick. Very much. So much so that I can't bear to think of it otherwise. You are not displeased that I suddenly baked this cocktail? I intended to see you later this evening, but some rather important matters demand my attention. I am concerned about your work. I had hoped you might have completed your mission by now, that the document we seek 
might already be in your hands. I shall be very happy when all this is over and forgotten. I'm afraid that politics and intrigue are not my special talent. Sometimes I get a little frightened. I understand, Iris. I promise, for you there will be no more politics. No more intrigue. No more spy. I shall be very grateful. It is I who am grateful. In fact, I brought you a little gift in reward. It is something I picked up at the supersmiths on my way over. I dare say you were expecting more rubies. I haven't forgotten how you love them. Oh, no. These are quite lovely. A virtuous woman who can find. For her price is far above ruby. A quotation. From the Christian Bible. It should remind you of something else from the same source. The coins. Count them. Thirty coins. Thirty pieces of silver. No. I'm not going to kill you. I'm going to give you a chance to save your life and my honor. The fact that you betrayed me was discovered by Colonel Tojo. I have managed to save face thus far by informing him that your actions were part of a plan of mine through which I could obtain the name of the traitor within our government with whom you had been working. No. What is his name? Very well. You have two hours in which to make your decision. If at the end of that time I do not receive a call from you naming the traitor, your fate will be in the hands of Colonel Tojo. Weigh carefully the possibilities of such a future. Do not attempt to leave the hotel or use the telephone as it will be useless. I will await your call. Get me the Tokyo Chronicle office, please. Sorry. Only calls to Baron Tanaka will be accepted from your suite. will see that a woman is punished. Death that comes quickly is not punishment. There are other forms which are slow, which must be painfully absorbed. Yes, Excellency. I have planned for our divine emperor, for his rule and power. In the execution of these plans, I have failed. Through my own stupidity, I have been deceived and thus dishonored his imperial majesty. To you, Captain Yamamoto, to you, Colonel Tojo, I pass the sacred obligation which I have betrayed. I charge you a pledge. I pledge you never to sheathe the sword of the samurai until our victorious armies march as conquerors through the streets of every capital of the world. I swear the same. America will be crushed, never to rise again. If the gods are kind, I will be in the White House when Japan dictates her terms of peace. Meet me before the shrine where we will do what must be done.
Is everything in readiness? Yes, Your Excellency. I have been considering your past services to us. Uh, they have not been without uh, value. Thank you, Colonel Tojo. You know I've always been a friend of Japan's. Japan does not forget her friend. There is a way in which you can uh, re-establish yourself. An exclusive news story of the first magnitude. I'll be right over in a half an hour. Must be something wrong, Charlie. I've been trying to get her all morning. Did Miss Hilliard have any visitors yesterday? Yes, Baron Tanaka. Baron Tanaka? Well, you know where he is now, don't you? With his ancestors. Oh, come on, open up. There's something fishy about that press release. Where did Cassell come off to grab an exclusive? If you ask me, Charlie, the stroke that killed Tanaka had a very sharp edge to it. Oh, Miss Hilliard. Get her. She took a run out powder. They are for the baggage. Come right in. There they Four-piece ruggage. Count check, please. All right, all right. I'll take your word for it. Sorry, must count. All right. One, two, three, four. Here you go. All right, let's get going.
Have another drink. It's a frame, Nick. Easy, easy. Easy caught it around outside somewhere. She's had almost a week to contact you. Why did she wait till three hours before your boat sails? I told you that dame was no good. She's trying to hang a spy rap on you. Can't you see it? Don't go, Nick, for the love of... Let me see who it is. No, 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 you wait here. Johnny Clark from the embassy. I'm certainly relieved to find you here, Nick. Why, where'd you expect to find me? Frankly, in a Japanese dungeon. I told you. What's the story? You've got a friend somewhere on this island, Nick. We received a phone call from him at the embassy 20 minutes ago. Who was it? Anonymous. A warrant is to be sworn out for your arrest. You're to be held for questioning, suspected of being a Chinese agent. The ambassador sent me over in his car. Uh, official American property can't be violated. So I'm to put you on the Wilson at once in charge of the captain. Great, you'll be immune. You'll be a diplomatic pouch. It's the only way, Nick. If they once catch you, it's a long legal tangle. Before we can do anything, weeks, maybe months. So long, Nick. Bon voyage. Now get going. Thanks, Johnny. I'll see you at the embassy in about an hour. Uh, Nick! Uh, we won't be responsible, you know. Light up in there. It's all right, Nick. One whole week, not a word from you. I couldn't get word to you before this. You could have gotten word to me some way. You still don't trust me. I do trust you. I worked that out myself an hour ago. I think I can prove to you that it was worth it. Come with me. I'm quite certain you will agree there is very little time to waste on explanations. That's right. Miss Hilliard and I feel it would serve our purpose most effectively if I signed the document in your presence.
Naturally, when this is made public, its authenticity will not go unchallenged. My signature would be branded a forgery by our government, including the Emperor. In that event, Your Highness, your voice will give them the lie. The length of elapsed time between the publication of this document and my ability to speak will be very brief. In Japan, a traitor's voice is quickly silenced. Mr. Condon, I take my part in this not for your country, but for mine. I would rather see Japan defeated than triumphant under the heels of our militarists. Lady, would you mind very much if I were to kiss you? I don't believe I'd have the strength to move from this spot until you did. Hmm. And now, we've got to get out of here. It's all been arranged. In a few minutes, a fishing boat will take us to a freighter out in the lower bay. Us? You're going with me, Nick. They're planning to hold you for questioning. Once they get you... Ah, uh -huh. I had an idea with you that warned the embassy there was a warrant out for me. They want to send me out on a diplomatic immunity. Diplomatic immunity won't stop a bullet or a bomb under a car. Well, I'll find they. Leave with us, Nick. For me. For you? Are you worth that? Mm-hmm. Well, honey. Why didn't you tell me? Darling, I'll hold them here until you get a start. No, Nick, they'll kill you. Get going. Nick, Nick, they'll kill you. The plan is all they want. Leave it here, Mother. Oh, no, Save no, it, no. Nick. We can't do that. I won't leave it out to you. I won't. Right, darling! We've got jobs to do. Nobody gave them to us, but they've got to be done. You're my girl, aren't you? All right. And you're going to do what I want you to do. I know it's tough. It's tougher to go than it is to stay. But you can hold him, and I think I can. All right, Nick. I'm your girl. You better hurry, darling. This neighborhood's getting awfully run down around here.
given up strangling, eh, Oshma? Oh, that's right. You had given it up. You shot Ollie Miller. It was his wife you strangled, wasn't it? Yes. I see your point. When it comes to taking a man with your bare hands, it's rather risky, isn't it? You're very clever, Mr. Conan. But there's one flaw in your cleverness. It is as easy to kill you with these as with that. In fact, I prefer it that way. Japanese fashion. So, Deska.
Abbott, check the men. Condon has escaped from the Sumita docks. Now he comes here. Driver! Drive past Arca Street. Nanishka. Akamachi Tote. Yeah, yeah. from you. But you see, Japanese very smart. <coughs> Only half smart, monkey. Only half smart. Get out of my way. Hello, fella. I said I'd be back in an hour. I'm sorry I'm a few minutes late. Yamato, this is not going to be treated as another of your very regrettable mistakes. Condon is an enemy of Imperial Japan. Is this he must be? Extremely sorry. This has been the result, Mr. Clark. It is true, Condon has been enemy of Japan. But Japanese people are very good, very generous. We will forget bad actions of Condon and say no more. You, in turn, will forget this incident? What's the matter, Yamada? Afraid of the penalty for failure? But it's much simpler this way. Both sides have made mistake. Will be very embarrassing for all. The United States government doesn't settle for a deal, Yamada. Condon San. Condon San, you have saying, forgive your enemies. I am willing. Sure. Forgive your enemies. But first, get even. <laughs> 